In today's episode, we're going to be reacting to some of the creepiest videos I found on TikTok. Let's get into it. Yep, this is it for us. As experts have found this larger than Earth, angry, violent creature coming out of space and they've been watching us. People were terrified after one man in Scotland went viral when he discovered a super eerie titan-like creature seemingly just standing behind our moon and it's been waiting to attack. This gets creepier as people from all parts of the world like England to Mexico and even the US recorded the exact same thing but from different angles, saying they can see it on camera and in person too. The haunting footage shows the size of the face being at least twice the moon, meaning this creature can measure up to 12 or 14 moons in height, and our time starting now might just be borrowed. And this is not the first time it happened, as in February of this year, a man was breathless as he caught the same face looking right into us, and it has now come back. I have gotten me a better quality camera to catch this thing in the sky. There he is. It's a huge face looking right down on us. I actually remember earlier this year of these videos, they were really popular, and it was mainly of just that one guy. It's interesting to see more and more pop up, but I still am not 100% convinced, and I've never seen anything of the face behind the moon personally myself. And also, please do forgive me if I sound a little weighed down. I do currently have COVID, and it is really heavy on my lungs. Overall, I'm fine. I just have been running like a little fever, and my lungs are just extremely heavy. I'm super congested as well. So please, if I sound super nasally or super, like, slow, I'm sorry. That's just me being sick. But back to the face near the moon. Have any of you seen the face near the moon? I have personally not seen it yet. And I have a feeling it's all fake, to be honest. But let me know your thoughts on this one. <laughs> بسم الله والله حاسس بشيء وراي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم راسي كثير صار يجاني I can definitely say that is pretty spooky. I'm always curious as to why, if there really is ghost, why do they have to appear in such weird, creepy ways? Why can't it just be standing by the bag saying, hey, this is my bag, I'm kind of haunting it? Why is it that it has to appear just a corner of its head behind a person, you know? I, or why is it always a peep around type of deal? And I always question that. It makes me believe that it's fake. Let me know in the comments, have you ever experienced a ghost phenomenon where it was so scary, but it was just basically like a movie where you've seen someone's head around the corner and next thing you know, you look around the corner and there's no ghost? My baby come to see me again. Fancy, what are you doing? What you doing? Are you gonna play tonight? Are you gonna play? Yeah, you are. Hello. Hello. What you doing? What to do, my baby? You need to get into the party today. 
understand in this material. Of course, that's easier with some people than others. You're trying to find the right spot. She had to get cold for me. Love to have been home when you do. Not today. But the monster is on the way to the floor and kicking me. So I can have my face to face. Just not finding the right spot, huh? Now, I've seen a number of these videos of this creator on TikTok showing the video of their ghost fur baby. Supposedly, they had a dog that passed away, and that's its favorite spot to roll around in and lay down in. And it definitely looks like there's something under the blanket moving around. I, I don't know if this to be a real video or not, but it does remind me of a time in my life where we used to have a Rottweiler. His name was Apollo, and by we, it was my parents. There was a very special spot that that dog liked to sit on on the couch. And when that dog passed away, not even two weeks later, we were sitting on the couch, and all of a sudden, it dipped into the couch as if there was something sitting there, even though there was nothing there. My mom immediately started crying, saying that that was Apollo, and my mind was kind of blown as a child, because that was a very long time ago. But I do remember that. So seeing a video like this makes me question it, you know, what if there is an animal spirit and they just linger around after a while? Have any of you ever experienced something like that before? I definitely know I have had an experience kind of similar. Hey, if you haven't done so already and you're enjoying the video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. For everyone that's watching and or subscribed, thank you so much for being subscribed and thank you for watching. And I also want to give a special shout out to all of my members. I did not expect to have 10 plus members. I really appreciate you. And for anyone that's interested in becoming a member, it is 99 cents to join the membership of my channel. And with that, it includes a few things. One, you get custom emojis of my face, which I'm going to be adding a new one really soon and I need your help on which emoji you want me to add. Do you want me to add A? Or do you want me to add emoji B? Leave a comment down below with A or B and I'll know what you're talking about. And as a member, when I upload a video, I normally schedule my videos to come out at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As a member, you get my videos immediately as soon as they're uploaded. You do not have to wait for that scheduled time. So that's an added benefit as well. So with that being said, if you're interested in being a member, it is 99 cents and it does help support the channel and I really appreciate it. And for all of my members, thank you so much for being a member. Scientists have just confirmed the existence of plasmoids. These self-illuminating plasma-like UAPs have multiple shapes and sizes. They're attracted to electromagnetic activity and have been filmed diving into the ocean, as well as hovering near space shuttles and satellites. They have explosive properties, negatively affect electronics and mental activity, possibly inducing hallucinations of alien abductions. Scientists suspect that they are sentient and represent a fourth domain of life. After 14 years of extensive research, it is a conclusion that so-called unidentified flying objects that have been seen in our atmosphere are not spaceships from another planet, but are groups and masses of living organisms that are as much a part of our atmosphere and space as the life we find in the oceans. It has been hypothesized that dusty plasmas in the thermosphere may have incorporated all the necessary elements for the synthesis of RNA leading to DNA and thus life. I could actually believe this. I, I've always said, you can even go back into my past videos, that UFOs are potentially a living creature and they're not just machine. They're just things that we have no comprehension of. I'm not saying that's necessarily the case, but I do definitely like to believe that that might be the case, that all these UFOs that we see flying around are not just alien spaceships. They're actually just creatures from this planet that we haven't really discovered yet. And that would also make sense as to why there is ancient depictions of them and drawings of that sort. And that could also be dragons too. They might take new forms during whatever period of time they're in that's an interesting thought if you ever seen the movie don't look up this is like don't look up and especially with my imagination and the things that are going on with the, the second moon that we're getting bro check this out james webb telescope found an object that is he heading towards earth and this object just course corrected itself to head directly towards earth right and this is in the time that we have a second moon that's going to be here on september 29th but they don't know exactly where this object is coming from, but it's the size of a, sm of a small city. Bro, you can look it up in the search insights. I'm going to show it to you guys. 
anyways, this thing, they're saying that the same people that found this thing are looking beyond this thing and they think they found life on a planet. So this thing is coming from a life, from a place that has life. Bro, I can't even. So it's coming towards our, I can't even. <laughs> this is here from the Search Insights on TikTok. The James Webb Space Telescope has made a significant discovery, reportedly detecting a massive object described as being the size of a city traveling towards Earth. This finding prompted a secret emergency briefings with key congressional leaders. While the exact time frame for its arrival remains unknown, the urgency of the situation has led to a closed door discussions on how to handle potential implications of this discovery. The details of the object and the next steps is addressing this situation remains classified, sparking widespread speculation on the nature of the incoming object. To this, there have been rumors and discussions suggesting that the object spotted by the James West Space Telescope is not natural, further fueling speculation and concern about what it could be in its potential impact on Earth. Read further, you can see the search inside. So this is how my imagination works, right? <laughs> this is how my imagination works, and this is for entertainment purposes only, right? So there, so they have seemed to found a planet that has life on it. And from this planet, there's an object the size of a city that's headed towards Earth that course corrected itself to head towards Earth, right? At the same time, in about four days, we're going to have a second moon orbiting our planet for 57 days, which is two moon phases, two full moon phases plus a day. Then this object is going to leave and come back in a couple years. Meanwhile, we have this object the size of a city headed towards Earth. I believe that those objects may be connected. Why not? Those objects can be connected. That's like a little Voyager they sent out, you know? You know, like, satellite. it's like a little drone that they sent out to, to survey the area or whatever. This is just speculation, allegations. Listen, man, space talk and me, I'm already very speculative about space talk. So to me, they are telling us something. When this, something's going to happen within this next few weeks. You know what I'm saying? That's what I believe. Something's coming, something's going to happen, and I don't believe they're telling us the truth about everything, but they're telling us some things. I'm grounding. I'll catch you guys next time. This guy thinks something's going to happen in a few weeks. We'll see because I've heard that story a lot of times where things are going to happen within the week's time or within the month's time and nothing really happens. But we'll see. Yeah. I wasn't even going to cover this, but because of what's happening around the whole earth right now, I feel like I need to. Florida and the Carolinas might want to take note. Okay, so first off, it's rapidly intensifying and is literally following the complete same path that Hurricane Ian did. We're talking about Helen and that face is not pretty. There's a high probability it may hit as a 4 and go through the thinnest part of Florida and hit Carolinas. Which it would literally intensify again right here to a 3 or maybe 4. Literally the size of Florida already. One meteorologist even said never in his career has he seen something like this. The water is warm. Way warmer than usual. So many storms. Yet it's freaking snowing. Snowing like crazy in Egypt. What is going on? Snow on the Sphinx for the first time in a hundred years? Sorry, I blocked him. Or it'll just go straight through. But so far it's mimicking what Ian did. Did I tell you that's 400 miles across? And for some reason the news keeps under projecting all these storms. And just a few freaking days ago, we had some weird anomalies taking place too. If I had to guess, I'd follow this little yellow brick road going right through Florida. And I don't know why we brushed over this. This is freaking insane, y'all. They said also a new lake in the middle of the desert. Very strange. Make sure y'all stay safe and leave if you have to. Yeah, I agree. Please make sure you all stay safe and leave if you have to because storms, I personally do not take lightly. Like this guy said, the news has kind of been underselling this potential storm for the Carolinas and the Florida side. It's still going to be very nasty for anyone that has to go through it. So whoever's going through Haleen, I hope the best for you because this kind of stuff scares me. Remember those mysterious Nazca glyphs you always saw in Ancient Aliens? 
Well, we've just discovered hundreds more of these things thanks to drones and AI. And in case you're unfamiliar, these are massive man-made paths, carvings in the desert in South America that were made by natives there hundreds or thousands of years ago. These things are hundreds or thousands of yards across, and they typically show shapes of animals or other mythological figures. Well, we've discovered a lot more of them thanks to artificial intelligence and drones. Apparently a lot more really complex ones too, which we're going to get to in this article. I don't know how they knew. I was going to say that's a giraffe, given that it's South America. That's probably going to be more likely a llama. Uh, but these lines have been the subject of a variety of conspiracy theories on ancient aliens and places like that. And the truth is we really don't know why people made these. They're just massive. You can only see them from the sky. I guess to ancient people, perhaps only a god could see them. Uh, so we don't really understand that. And now, uh, using drones and AI, a team led by archaeologist and anthropologist Masato Saki of Yamagata University in Japan has discovered a jaw-dropping 303 more of these things in just six months, nearly doubling the current known number. And with this discovery also comes new insights regarding the function of the mysterious symbols. Here's one that looks like an alien or perhaps a creepy jester. I don't know what this one is. This could be SpongeBob SquarePants. This kind of looks like my dad when he yells at me. Uh, a lot of them are human or humanoid and they're definitely sort of primitive art and the scale is probably struggling because again, the people that made these couldn't see them. They're just walking on the ground here. Now, what they believe from this is that the glyphs are likely part of a religious ceremony and that people were carving these into the grounds or walking these paths as an act of worship or pilgrimage. I don't know about that, but here's a neat thing. So you don't see anything here. This is a drone photography of the desert, but when you apply AI, you can actually see the image that the person may have been trying to carve. And I'm sure there's some dubiousness to this. It might be finding patterns or static uh, in static noise, but it does seem to have identified a ton more. They've claimed 303 more. Honestly, even if they only find 10 or 15 more, that's still very impressive and the rest get debunked. I think this is very cool technology. I think it's interesting that we use our high tech of now in the future, drones, AI, lasers and cameras and stuff to solve the mysteries of thousands of years ago and unveil things that previously we couldn't even see, which I think is very, very cool. That is actually really cool. It kind of reminds me of like Yu-Gi-Oh! where there was ancient hieroglyphs of old beasts that they used to battle with, or maybe this was their form of Pokemon. But it's very interesting that they did such large drawings or artwork into the ground and it's cool that we're able to discover them now if this is accurate we never know what ai it could be just made up hocus pocus lines that the computer thinks it sees but overall i kind of believe this i think that we are capable of seeing things with lidar and things like that to get a better understanding of what's deeper into the ground seeing things like this is pretty neat but it also leads a lot of questions as to why leave a comment down below if you have any idea why they would make such grand glyphs into the ground seriously just leave the uk while you have the flipping chance this is all the news that's happened today that you probably haven't heard about first of all sir keir starmer did his speech today where he accidentally addressed hostages as sausages the return of the sausages this video emerged last night, which is a little bit on the scary side. Apparently this video came from some kind of propaganda page in Russia, basically talking about when London gets hit by a nuke. Brilliant. I mean, that is exactly what I wanted to see this morning. UK is set to be battered by a major storm in the next couple of weeks, apparently. Already happening in Aldershot, where there was a literal tornado. From October 1st, we're going to be getting a huge plummet in temperatures and massive storm, apparently. We'll see. I'm sure you all know about this, but we're going to be getting two moons in the sky soon, not just in the UK, but worldwide. This is happening because there is basically a rogue asteroid which is being pulled in by the gravitational field, making it look like there's going to be two moons for about a month. People are now cosplaying as Smart Schoolboy 9. Yep. <laughs> and McDonald's in England is set to be getting this new thing on the menu, which is 15 mini hash browns in a pot. So yeah. If there really is a storm heading towards the UK, I hope the best for everybody. And I, I've done everything I can to look up as to why people are saying that it's going to be like we're going to have two moons soon. According to the articles that I'm reading, we're not even going to be able to see it with the naked eye. Only like high grade telescopes are going to be able to see it. So I, I'm very confused about that. Are we supposed to see two moons with this anomaly or is just people 
or are people just saying that <laughs> because i cannot find where we're going to actually have two moon-like objects in the sky at the same time visibly to the naked eye but everyone makes it sound like there is going to be it's kind of irritating did you see what they're building in saudi arabia this thing's crazy it's going to be the largest structure ever built in like humanity and it's this giant golden cube in the center of the city oh, yeah. basically inside of it it's going to be all augmented reality so there'll be like giants walking but it's like very blade runner like star wars -y. Oh, man and they can change the whole atmosphere to look different yeah. so it can look like you're underwater like the whole place is underwater or you're at the grand canyon or like but you're gonna like have like in projections in front of you like everything it's gonna be, oh my goodness it's so weird what's That's nightmare like? fuel it's scary but i kind of want to go i would go <laughs> i kind of want to go hey so if it, uh, all the saudi princes out there you need some guinea pigs or hamsters <laughs> We're here, guys. <laughs> well, let's rephrase that. Maybe, like, see what they're making. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, like, don't, so don't test stuff on we're, us. We're, we're all yours. <laughs> nope. Try again. Okay. Um, we'll stay as long as you need it. Yes. No. Nope. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure, get, it, we'll out. figure yeah. out when we get there. No. We'll buy one-way ticket. No. That's pretty interesting. I just wonder why. What's the what's the purpose behind it and how much is it going to cost that's going to be a luxury location i'm almost 100 percent sure but i would like to go see it if it was real that would be interesting if it's as revolutionary as high tech as it sounds but knowing me it's probably way past my budget let me know in the comments would you go to something like that if it exists or if it actually comes out to be as cool as it sounds all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i'm really sorry that sorry <laughs> I'm really sorry that the video was kind of short today. Like I said earlier, I do have COVID and it's been very draining. I'm doing okay, but the overall strain on my throat, in my chest, everything's really heavy right now. Uh, it's just best for me to keep the video short so I can do them a little bit more consistently. And as always, if you enjoyed any of the clips, links are in the description down below. And with that being said, have a good day.